the high seas, high seas. Cast my line, now they're biting. Rocky coast and lighthouses, what she knows now I doubt it. Talk to me nice. I think your confusion starts with street lights. Hi Cancer, how's it going? Welcome to your February 2020 tarot reading. And thank you guys so much who are deciding to still watch, even though these readings are coming out literally as there is less than a week left of February. But um yeah, guys, I'll talk to you later about why the videos are so late. For now, I just want to say hopefully you guys have had a good February so far. Um, we do have Aquarius and Pisces season this month. I'm interested to know how the end of February going into March is going to be for you because we do have um, a Pisces new moon here on the 23rd. And that's water energy, okay? So, yeah, I think Pis Pisces is your ninth house, Aquarius is your eighth house. So, you guys definitely went through some transformation and expansion in February, huh? For sure. Uh, so, yeah, I'm using three different decks this month, you guys. I'm using um, Moonology and the Iris Oracle deck and obviously regular tarot because that's my, my thing. So, check the description box if you like these cards for yourself, okay? Now, Cancer, I just um, spent, you know, a few moments before your reading, well, before starting to record, and I wanted to find the Chariot card. This is how I start my reading, so for those of you who are new, this is just, well, those of you who are new to my channel, I should say, that's just something I like to do um, so that I can see what the heck's going on for you guys energetically. So, let's take a look at what, what cards are behind this chariot card um, in relation to you guys. So we've got the chariot. Wow, interesting. Um, we're gonna put the chariot there. Move these up a little bit so we have room. We've got a king of cups showing up, which can easily be the cancer vibration, okay? Some of you guys are definitely stepping into that king of cups. Now, for the women watching, this could definitely be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio man. You know, um, I'm very careful with gender, especially when it comes to emotion. Um, so I'm just going to say this is masculine emotion, meaning that even if you're a woman watching, there is a very powerful masculinity to the ways you're feeling. Now, that for some of you guys, that could definitely mean, without sounding too arrogant or ignorant, I mean, that you're not expressing your emotion. You know, I always see the look, <laughs> the look on this king's face. He looks a little worried. Some of you guys are a little worried to express your emotion. And this could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be Pisces season increasing the emotion in this cup. I do see an indication of Pisces here with the little necklace there. Somebody here wears their emotions on their sleeve regardless if they express it or not. But I'm just looking at the face, it, facial expressions of these two cards. And it's like, mm, somebody here is a little fo like focused almost, but shifty-eyed. You know what I mean? Someone here may, mm, okay, this may be someone looking at you, Cancer. Because we already know the chariot is you in this reading. Look at this King of Cups. We got a water sign looking at you, okay? There might be another water sign for some of you guys in your life that has no idea how to express themselves to you. Um, someone here, could be you or someone else, Cancer, trying to take the high road emotionally. They're trying to be really mature emotionally with this King, okay? Because this is the King of Cups. This is the King of Cups. He is the King of these Cups in Tarot, so... He's mastered this. He's very, very, uh, it's like a scorpionic energy, stability emotionally. Someone here is very mature emotionally, if I haven't said that already. But we're moving on to the full energy. Okay, so someone here uh, wants a new beginning. Looks like a water sign, so that could be you. It could be a cross-watcher water sign. Um, or someone here who's got deep love for someone else. The King of Cups does signify deep love and emotion and compassion. It doesn't have to be a water sign, Cancer. This is just someone of masculine nature. Um, that has a lot of love and emotion inside. Psychic, intuitive, you know, sensitive. Oh, God, sensitive. Um, and I think they're looking back at you, or this may be an energy some of you are embodying, but this, there's an emotional risk here to consider. It's very risky for someone to open up here in February, heading into March. Very risky. Someone here wants to take a risk with a water sign, like someone's jumping right in um, emotionally for you, Cancer. And we've got even more emotion. We've got the little page of cups showing up. Some of you guys are dealing with Pisces. You may have Pisces energy. A lot of water here. New beginnings emotionally. And we have the death card, which is Scorpio. Okay, so, so far what I see, Cancer, um, if you guys could see this, is there's new emotion here. Someone wants to start over. Like, check this out. This is definitely risky. And this is not just an emotional risk. There's a risk here. To literally offer something you know this is definitely that Pisces season energy there is a new beginning um, stirring in your emotions 
come Pisces season. I don't know how the first half of February went for you guys. I think you were just really trying to embody, you know, it's interesting, Aquarius is your eighth house. So you've already went through this deep, deep, intimate transformation with Aquarius season and the new moon and the energy that transited there. We've got Uranus here as a plant, a planet. So someone's emotions, this may be very unexpected, this risk in New Beginning. Someone may feel it, wow, like, wow, Cancer just opened up to me like this is really unexpected. Or you may be like, wow, someone unexpectedly opened up to me. Because it's interesting, there's two water signs here. And I just did a reading for Gemini. This kind of thing happened in their reading too. But, you know, there could be an age difference here. I see someone who's quite older. Both of you have emotion. Okay, King of Cups, Page of Cups. There's a difference here in emotional maturity in someone. Or there may have been in the past relationships for you, Cancer, and you're really wanting to align more with someone who has a cup to offer as well. Okay, definitely Pisces here, Scorpio. Okay, double Scorpio energy here with the Death card and the King of Cups to me. And we do have someone here um, that is embodying the Empress, the Divine Feminine Venus energy, which is currently in Aries. Uh, wow, there is um, some kind of judgment energy here as well. Uh, this may be a baby mom for some of you guys or a mother figure in your life. This could easily be you, but we got Taurus and Libra, maybe even Aries. There may be a phone call to a mother or there may be a second chance forgiveness. Um, someone here, yeah, Page of Swords, a little bit of spying energy. Someone here is really stuck in their head about, oh, we got a lot of air energy here. Someone here is keeping an eye on somebody and it's interesting, someone here is watching someone who can't see. This person has chose not to see. This person is really further investigating. Somebody here is looking into a situation of entrapment. Like, why is that person trapped? Because someone here is trapped in conflict and argument and they're stuck in their head. Five of Swords, Eight of Swords, Page of Swords just flies out of my hand. Someone here needs to find a new way to express their truth, period. Because the Page of Swords is, is a new discovery of truth. Okay, because someone here has just, ar they're arguing, there's conflict, um, someone doesn't want to fight anymore, they want to free themselves from a place they've kept themselves stuck, and this is heavy mental energy, you could definitely be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be a child here as well, especially because the Empress is showing up, but we've got Pluto and Venus here, you might want to look in your own birth chart for that, okay, second chances, uh, definitely rebirth, yeah, wow, some of you guys are just really giving birth to something for the second time, that might, might even be some of you guys are giving birth to your second child, and it's so interesting, I'm pretty sure a cancer just messaged me during this reading, someone here has Scorpio Venus, someone here is a very intense lover, okay, we got Scorpio, Pluto, Venus, but yeah, uh, there may, this is like the new beginning of emotion. Someone here also needs to find a new way to express their truth, their emotion, okay? We had two pages there, but wow, this is a risk. This is a new beginning. Could be new love you're jumping right into, Cancer. Definitely experiencing new, and they may, this may seem strange to some people because this is Uranus energy. So yeah, it, it may be strange, but look at you being so mature. Wow, daddy, this is water sign daddy energy to me. I like it. Because it's someone who's really mature emotionally, okay? Very masculine, some of you guys, whether you're female or male, we, we have both, right? So, yeah, let's go ahead and get you guys a message with this Moonology. Now, you may have seen these cards on other channels on YouTube, but these were, uh, this is a deck that was given to me by a Scorpio several, several months ago. And I actually, I was without, um, wow, there's a, the full moon and cancer card is at the bottom. That's interesting. And we got full moon and Leo, full moon and cancer. So, automatically, I know that. The last two full moons were important to you, the full moon in Leo, full moon in Cancer, and also the new moon in Capricorn was really important to you guys for obvious reasons because that was the eclipse that took place a few months ago. But as I was saying, um, the reason my videos are late, guys, is because I wanted to have these cards in my readings. I really, really seen the, the readings this month. It, this was back in January where I really just felt the need to have these three card decks together. So I waited just to have these messages and they have been quite helpful they are a little bit hard to shuffle because they're kind of new and, and very slick but yeah they've been lit so far and we are learning these cards together guys I, I don't I'm not very familiar with this deck yet so let's see what is the message for cancer for February 2020 please what is the message for cancer for February 2020 whoa okay those just flew out <laughs> So you guys know how the full moon in Cancer was at the bottom before I started shuffling. You guys are at the bottom again, the new moon in Cancer. Oh, wow. Okay, so Cancer, okay, what's it say? You and your loved ones are safe. Wow. You and your loved ones are safe. 
um, if you guys can see this, God. New moon in Cancer, uh, what I want to say, guys, is that's about three months away. We got a new moon in Pisces tonight. Um, we're going to have a new moon in Aries in a month. And we're going to have a new moon in Taurus, new moon in Gemini. So about four, basically your birthday seasons are coming up, okay, in the summer, you know what I'm saying? So you and your loved ones are safe until then. Like, there's just something about this energy. And you guys might need to be bold and make the first move about something, okay? But let's take a look at the cards that actually flew the fuck out for you. But I just thought that was interesting that... You know, obviously there's just something going to happen for sure on that new moon in Cancer in four months or so, okay? Alright, so the card that came out is Have Faith in Your Dreams. That's beautiful because Cancer is ruled by the moon, guys. That's why I'm really excited to use this deck for you guys. But we got a waxing crescent moon. I'm immediately seeing flowers and butterflies. So, guys, look, we are going through transformation this month, especially you. I see a little bee, a little butterfly. Um, so, wow, there's something here about flight and... Having faith in this waxing crescent moon. And I don't know much about the moon cycle. I need to learn more about Luna, honestly. But um, this is obviously, this may be important during the moon's waxing uh, phase. Okay, after this new moon in Pisces, possibly. Okay, as we approach the full moon in Virgo, March 9th. But we also have luck is on your side. So have faith in your dreams because luck is on your side, Cancer. We have a new moon in Sagittarius. So you received two messages about a new moon and one about a waxing crescent moon. So that tells me that you guys could definitely be setting intentions, okay? And obviously, you could be dealing with a Sag. You could have a Sagittarius moon. Somebody watching may have a Sagittarius moon. But yeah, I'm seeing here newness, luck, aiming in the darkness, and having faith that you're going to reach your dreams, Cancer. Point blank, period. I love it. Okay? Zodiac sign of Sagittarius showing up. New moon in Sagittarius is, is not for quite some time. That's going to be in uh, November, December of 2020. So, yeah. So, this is my Iris Oracle deck. I definitely wanted to bring these cards out for uh, the strange Aquarian energy. And I'm going to use my um, Pisces energy to just intuitively explain these cards. I'm not going to look in the book or anything. Wow. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to use these as an extra message, but I am going to shuffle because that just came out before I even said anything. We got Ripe Fruits and Afraid of the Attic. So I know um, from memory that this card is about kind of being afraid to elevate, you're afraid, like, so if our house was a, if our body was a house, our mind would be the attic. And similar to attics, we can kind of pack away certain thoughts up there and they can get kind of dusty and kind of over cluttering. So this is about visiting your mind like an attic and not being afraid to reach for some of the, you know, nastier, darker, shadowy things. Because there's actually ripe fruit up there as well. Wow, you guys are pulling the twin card. Oh my god, you guys have spirits to guide you. And so there is the doorway to some of you guys' twin or a situation that will that will highly reflect you. Twin energy is all about being reflected, okay? Literally, can you guys see that? That the spirits are guiding you to some kind of twin or your twin is actually a spirit that's guiding you? S especially when it comes to being calm. Um within the transformation that's an excellent card to show show itself for you guys especially going through that aquarian um eighth house okay so let's actually shuffle but guys don't be afraid um of what you think because there's there's some ripeness there to basically reap and so so let's see what is the message for cancer just give me one solid card for cancer we almost had the card green so that could be money that could be taurus virgo capricorn but that's reality some of you guys are seeking justice in a very logical way. Now, let's see what just came out for you guys. Oh, wow. Okay. We have gifts from the past. Card number 59. So, um, May 9th may be important. September 5th. And gosh, Cancer, we have the cards stay back at the bottom of the deck. Wow. So, it's interesting. Um, I get a certain message here. Definitely thinking about you, Cancer, because you guys are all about the past. Capricorn is the future. You rule the moon, so it's... You guys are definitely associated with the past as a water sign. And then so is Pisces. So Pisces energy is the last house of the universe. So we have no choice but to surrender to all that we've endured up until then. It's the last chapter, okay? So we've got to close things out. We've got to undo. So there are certain... Um, I feel like it was somewhere you went in the past. Because look at this little compass. Okay, it might have to do with your north and south node. But yeah, there's some kind of gift from the past that is going to further direct you to light, clarity. We, we have the sun. Did you see that? How there was a, the sun here. We got the ocean. So this is going to give you clarity emotionally is what I'm feeling intuitively about this. But I'm a little confused because it's saying stay back. So this is about protection. 
in um, telling people no, okay? Not just allowing people to kind of be in and out of our lives, like the Knight of Wands. So what is it that you need to stay back from? Well, I believe I pulled this card for you guys before. You need to stay back from not being able to find goodness because you lost your heart, okay? Here's this ocean again. I've pulled this card for you guys before. Some of you guys feel like you're on a lonely journey as a priestess. These cards are so lit, but yeah, stay back from gifts from the past or... God, um, you just may need to protect yourself a little bit. This is a card of boundaries, but look, we have a snake there in transformation. So don't let anything hold you back from transforming, especially if you guys are waiting on something from the past, some kind of gift. But, you know, the past is a gift, Cancer, and I don't think that's entirely a message about staying back. Like, there may be people that return. They may return to give you something. They may return to, it might even be clarity. Um, just be careful not to fully indulge in that confusion, okay? It is a Mercury retrograde, so there will be per people, places, and things returning to the past to give you something. But just know that it will change your direction, and you will it will come back up in the next Mercury retrograde, okay? So I don't know, March 9th is when, when Mercury goes back direct, um, but I just want to say it's a stay back from um, gifts from the past. So just use your own uh, discernment there, Cancer, okay? You guys are going to obviously know intuitively if that's good or bad for you, and it's, you know, you guys always have free will. So now we are going to get you guys a tarot card um, for the final message of this reading, and I've decided to involve technology in this part of the reading. Like, I definitely think uh it's important to get the traditional message too it's helping me learn the cards even more and honestly aquarius rules the the internet so i definitely want to get a card for you and then i'm going to look up the meaning um online so give me one card for cancer please give me a card for cancer that will resonate for february 2000 and wow so it's interesting we have the ace of cups and we're getting it i'm giving you guys this card because you guys need new love but look what came out with it. So there's some kind of completion here. You guys have felt something um, for a very long time. Okay, bottom of the deck is the magician. You guys have been manifesting love. This may be Gemini Virgo energy, Mercury energy showing up here for sure. In the tower, look, this is going to be kind of shocking. You guys have manifested something throughout anxiety. You guys have walked away. Look, we have the chariot. Yeah, we've got, a, we've got a cancer here who's walking away on a soul journey. You've, you're standing up for yourself, cancer, moving forward. Some of you guys have a huge obstacle to face this month um, when it comes to anxiety about leaving a certain thing that you know doesn't serve you emotionally. The full moon in Pisces is going to illuminate that with a capital I. Goodness gracious. A lot of anxiety here about maybe someone returning, but I think this is either the full moon in Virgo, so maybe March 9th. Some of you guys can't do a certain thing until March 9th. It might have to do with a vehicle. Because I feel like someone here is walking away, even though the chariot is a, is a car. So someone might be walking away from a car. And it's like an anxiety. You might have nightmares. You're having sleepless nights because this was kind of unexpected. Something unexpected is manifesting here. And it's this new love. Okay, briefly here we have all these cards. So yeah, Pisces new moon, definitely a thing for you. There may even be a Pisces. This could be you, Cancer. Someone here has a Taurus moon verbatimly. We have the Hierophant and the moon. So the Hierophant and the moon, yeah, that's Taurus moon. Um, that's a wife. Like, there, there may be secrets and illusions here, and you may need advice about that. Some here, Someone here needs advice about what they can't see. Someone here is afraid to commit and move in with someone, move homes. Like, wow, someone here is afraid of, like, emotional fulfillment. But it's because there's been unequal give and take in the past, even though someone's been very hopeful. Someone here has a wish uh, for this Knight of Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or just love in general. Could be Aquarius. And we got the Wheel of Fortune, so I can tell you uh, something is going to change entirely when it comes to an Earth sign, maybe a Virgo. And we got Capricorn here, Taurus, but yeah, when you move on, even though you're going to be isolated, you're going to heal. Someone here is really healing in their own isolation, not talking to many people not even going out a lot like just sleeping healing meditating praying and it has something to do with money they don't have it has something to do with an earth sign left out in the cold or just stability someone here is lacking a very important resource um and, and i think it's because you guys want to move away move to calmer waters okay so please just know that the ten of cups that all that big message just wanted to come out because that's something that's manifesting to cancer oh my elbow just crackety cracked so i am going to grab my phone for this part and yeah, uh, personally, my favorite website to use for tarot, and I don't do this often, but I do sometimes when I'm like, okay, I know what the cup means, this card means to me. 
uh, what does it mean uh, online? So I'm going to type in the Ace of Cups and I'm going to go to Biddy because that's just what I fuck with. Um, yeah, B-I-D-D-Y if you guys um, are interested in this website as well. And we're just going to read for the rest of your reading, Cancer. So thank you guys for listening. Let's see what this website has to say about this card. Now, intuitively, before I read, because I want to com combine uh, technology and intuition, which is Aquarius Pisces. Obviously, this is new love, you guys. Obviously, this is new feelings, new emotion. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy or healing, self-love, a new child even. But I'm honestly seeing why you guys are being told to stay back from the past a little bit because boy, oh boy, is there something new. This Mercury retrograde is going to bring in an old love or an old energy. And it's like, wow, there's something new coming in though. Maybe you guys experienced something new from someone from the past. Maybe this gift is this Ace of Cups, but... We've got love, new relationships, compassion, and creativity coming up with this card. It says, it says here that the Ace of Cups shows a chalice overflowing with five streams of water. The cup represents the vessel of your subconscious mind. The five streams are your five senses and the abundant emotion of intuition flowing from within you. The hand holding the cup is sliding out of the clouds, a symbol of your awareness of spiritual energy and influence. Below the hand is a vast sea covered with lotus blossoms signifying the awakening of the human spirit. A dove d descends towards the cup in a symbol of divine love flowing through the subconscious mind to, con to conscious awareness. Okay, uh, so with the Ace of Cups, divine love and compassion are pouring through you. You are a vessel for deep spiritual love from the universe and you can't help but, that, but let that love flow through you and into the world. You receive love, you give love, and you are love. Your heart overflows. Now is the perfect time for you to open your heart and experience the rich flow of emotion available to you right now. You are more receptive and creative opportunities, loving connections, and deep compassion for other living beings. As with all aces in the tarot, this card comes with an invitation. Will you take it? Will you say yes to the divine love and compassion, and will you, or will you run from it? The Ace of Cups carries the potential for spiritual and emotional fulfillment, but only if you embrace it with an open heart. This card often appears in tarot readings when you are open to create, express, especially when you can allow your emotions to shine through cancer and your endeavors. You may be inspired uh, to start a new project, take an art class, or even engage in interpretive dance. As this point, at this point in your life, you are comfortable with who you are and happily, happily expressing uh, this part of yourself to others. You see fresh potential in allowing the creative juice to flow. Let your imagination and talent unfurl to new possibilities. Okay, and la uh, lastly here, we have the Ace of Cups. Sorry, my hand was starting to hurt. The Ace of Cups often represents a new relationship, be it a friendship, a new family connection, um, or blossoming romance. It is exciting, fluttery even. And you, like, so butterflies, you know. Um... You are so glad to have met someone um, with whom you can share a special connection. You give yourself permission to open yourself to giving and receiving unconditional love. And you will notice that affection flowing effortlessly when you are in this loving state of mind. The water in this card reflects the flow of emotion and thus the Ace of Cups suggests that the enthusiasm you two generate together will get you fired up about yourself and life. There is a generous compassion side of the Ace of Cups too. See this as a time of giving, not taking, and make the most of any opportunity to help others. You have the power to share your inner guidance and radiance um, with positive energy, bringing great happiness to those around you. And you will find that the more you give, the more you receive on multiple levels. Finally, the Ace of Cups can signify conception, pregnancy, or birth. Look to the other cards in the reading for further confirmation, such as the Empress, the Page of Cups, or the Four of Wands. You guys definitely got the Empress and the Four of Cups. Uh, or, I'm sorry, you've got the um, the Empress and the Page of Cups. So, some of y'all could definitely be with child. On a more metaphorical level, it may mean the birth of a new idea or spark of inspiration. Something in which you can invest a great deal of love and creative energy into. Wow. Okay. Ace of Cups, Cancer. So, new love. That could even be the gift. You guys could find some kind of love or new emotion from the past or, you know, whatever, Cancer. But it's water to swim through. Wow. I'm all over it as a Pisces, honestly. I'm, I'm really happy to give that message. Um, so, yeah, that is what I have for you um, for February. Obviously, Pisces season has really opened up um, a flow of, of a current for you guys. I'm really interested to see what the rest of Pisces season in March has in store. Please keep in mind... 
Pisces is your ninth house of expansion and travel you know you had a new moon there cancer so obviously there's um, a great chance here to set new intention to expand emotionally some of you guys are going to be experiencing new emotion for the first time in a very long time so thank you so much for watching you guys if you have any comments concerns questions if you want to know how to get a personal reading or anything about the music in this video how to get a hold of me or the cards Everything you need to know should be in the description box, guys. You can always reach out to me um, through email as well. So, thanks, guys. Um, happy February. I hope you had a great Valentine's Day portal of love. <laughs> and I will, guys, I'll talk to you guys in March. Bye.